Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. You've just put in the fastest lap. Good job. That's put you up into P10, fifth row of the grid. Welcome to China for the second round of TNR Season 2. We're just letting through some cars here after our first run. Unfortunately, Nemo didn't feel like he got quite enough space there at Turn 1. I had to break as he swerved towards me and Force 1 looked like he ran over into the back of us. Further cars come through. Unfortunately for Cart Dude, he lost his lap in that melee as well. Cars strewn everywhere, complete mayhem at this point. I think that's four cars in the space of very little. Everyone clearly not on a lap now. Still the aggravation continues, in fact. I lose a little bit of my wing there as Nemo comes back through. Not sure <laughs> whether all that was fair, but we ended up setting another lap time. Didn't improve by much, in fact, well off our PB some four tenths and that would definitely cost us pole however a front row start second place once again just like last week not too bad Force One who did not score in Australia is in front of us so hopefully we can do well and at least follow this runner if not get past it in this opening stint we've got Wimp right behind us who won so he's a championship leader uh, having won in Australia um, and Stingray behind us, so we're in a Renault sandwich now because Stingray overtook Wimp. Wimp's back in front now though. Now it's Stingray again. What's to follow is pretty sad though. Several front runners taken out in a crash. Wimp retired, quickly followed by Antal Raphael, who of course we know is a very strong runner. Towards the end of the lap, we also lose Stylin. So further scalps as we're very close to the back of the Renault of Force One. Still in that Renault sandwich though. Unfortunately, just before we get into DRS territory, because at, obviously at the end of lap two, we start coming under pressure from the other Renault, and he gets us detached from the back of his teammate simply by hitting us time and time again. In fact, I cut the corner there because of the lack of momentum I had. There's another example, another dive bomb, second consecutive lap from Stingray, and all that's just letting Force One get away. Further there, evidence of Stingray, putting his nose where it doesn't belong. On top of that, it's really difficult to see, not sure for everyone, but my lighting was so bad in this because unfortunately the time of day was not set correctly. Once again at the last corner, particularly difficult to see, and that affected me way worse than Stingray in particular, who once again comes very close to our car. We outsmart him here and come back up the inside just about enough to keep the position although contact of course it's contact with stingray and he forces his way through not the worst move i've seen from him certainly a bit of contact though and contact was the theme of the race because moza detaches us from the back of the drs zone of stingray with that collision we were hoping to get it down the back straight but now we're outside of a second so our hard work gets thrown away by other drivers once again. Into the pits we come for an undercut. This was earlier than I planned and I could have gone well further, possibly onto the soft compound. Either way I put the medium on. In the pits you can see two cars, one of them is Stingray, so it made a great undercut on him and taken net second position back. Safety car, safety car, no overtaking, reduce your pace. But the first safety car I've seen on this game in league conditions, I thought it was actually supposed to be turned off. We did get into second, Bozza uh, was fortunate enough to have not pitted yet. He came out in third, Force One of course still in the lead, but this was not the restart we were after. Completely slowed us up, he wasn't far enough back from the safety car when it went in. So in turn everyone got checked up automatically by the game. I couldn't pass him because I would have been done for passing under yellow flags. And it backed everyone up, in fact Bozza lost out to Stingray and Nemo. Nemo up into third at that point, but Stingray would get back around him and I'll be back into the same Renault sandwich as before. And just like before, further dive bombs from Stingray, typical. Not sure if it's t really to teamwork at all. It is helping his teammate, but I think it's more selfish. Further contact here is pushing me wide of the apex. Caution, caution. The virtual safety car is out. And when I needed the DRS most, I couldn't get it that lap. 
because of the virtual safety car being deployed. So I fill out a DRS from Force One and his teammate here. Good move around the outside it looks like so far. We might be able to defend it. He's not quite far enough up. In fact, we've got the position. However, into this next left-hander, a bit more contact. Thankfully this time, we're able to stick to the right-hand side of the track. It looks like he's running a bit less downforce than us, actually. We can get back down the inside and serve him a bit of what he's been giving us by forcing him widen onto the kerb. Seven laps to go as we cross the line to end lap 21. That's three quarters done. Once again, Stingray showing he has some good top speed, perhaps with some DRS as well. This time he's further around the outside, goes a bit wide though, and we clearly had the position, but he's pushing us wide once again, and this time forces his way through. Nothing I can do about that. I'm close enough to have a go at this next hairpin though, so he knows that. He defends. I go to the outside, try and go for a cutback. The lighting is again so bad, I couldn't see the apex and got myself a penalty, which would be costly in the end, of course. Not content with ruining my race that much, Stingray then, this is a flat corner, certainly with this amount of fuel, and he backs off. I saw it coming, but couldn't do enough because he backed off so much. I lost two positions to OP Magic and Bozza. Another virtual safety car. Reduced the time I had to catch up, but catch up is what I did to the house of Bozza. No contact there, he left the perfect amount of space, and I break just in time. Go for an over and under. We should be able to get this move done. Will we have DRS or will he? Oh, he's, he's fought back around the outside. We'll have DRS though. Either way, he must have a very low downforce and a very swift move to the inside there. Okay, preparing to defend. I think he's gone a bit too deep. Yeah, we'll get the traction there. There was a disconnected car making things a bit more confusing. Force One wins the race. Congratulations to him. And thankfully OP does beat Stingray to the line. We cross the line fourth, but that penalty means Bozza's promoted. Good job to Bozza. Obviously not his fault what happened to me in that race. But I was of course very disappointed not to have got the podium. Especially with the defensive drive I put up. We'll be back next week for Bahrain. See you guys then.